Welcome back, guys. My name is Patrick. This is the Fanatic Rundown, and the Edmonton Oilers come oh so close to at least earning a point against the Tampa Bay Lightning tonight. They fall 5-3, to three, the Lightning getting an empty net goal with a couple seconds to go. So basically a 4-3 to three hockey game. And it's all over Twitter. Most Oilers fans are saying it. If the Oilers have even half-decent goaltending tonight, they win this hockey game. I don't like to single out one person, but Mike Smith, you have to be better than what you were tonight. The Oilers have to find a way to solve their goaltending problem. It's costing them games here. Like They're playing the Stanley Cup champs. They put in a solid effort. Mike Smith, according to the TNT broadcast, took it out on the young defenseman after the uh, third or fourth, I believe it was the third goal that went in on him. He's taking it out on the young guys. Smith, that's on you. Don't blame your problems on rookies that are learning. You're the 39, almost 40-year-old veteran. Make the damn save. Like, this is a game where the Oilers... The Oilers did everything they needed to do to win a hockey game. They beat the best goaltender in the league, Andre Vasilevsky, three times. Could have beaten him more. He was terrific. He made a bunch of huge saves. If Smith plays even half as good as Vasilevsky, the Oilers win this hockey game. But we're sitting here at the end of the night. We talked about these games as a good measuring stick for the Oilers. I was pretty happy for the most part, with how they played. I mean, they took a few too many penalties. They seemed to be uh, going more one way against the Oilers tonight as far as the penalty calls were going. A lot of missed calls against Edmonton, but I did see a few that the Oilers could have taken as well that weren't called. But regardless, the Lightning got more power plays than the Oilers. The Oilers did get a power play goal tonight. Connor McDavid was excellent tonight. My player of the game for sure. Two goals. Looked like he might get the hat trick there a few times. But, like I said, Andrea Vasilevsky was solid tonight. Made the saves when he needed to make the save. When the Oilers needed a huge save, they couldn't get it. Mike Smith lets them down tonight. Like I said, I don't like to blame one guy, but tonight I'm putting that loss on Mike Smith's shoulders. Like, the team in front of him did everything they needed to do to beat the Tampa Bay Lightning. The Oilers didn't play a perfect game, don't get me wrong. Like It wasn't their best game of the season or anything like that, but they played well enough. They were dangerous all night. They were getting their opportunities. They netted three of them. Yeah, maybe three goals isn't enough to win, but the Oilers were keeping the shots down on Mike Smith like halfway through the game. I believe it was three goals on the first nine shots for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Three goals on nine shots. Yeah, you can say the Tampa Bay Lightning are being opportunistic and taking advantage of their opportunities, but come on. Mike Smith, the team in front of you has kept the Tampa Bay Lightning to nine shots on goal, and you still allow three of those pucks to get past you. It's just incredibly frustrating to watch. I think uh, Dustin Nielsen of uh, TSN 1260 had the best tweet tonight. just going to read that for you guys if you haven't seen it. Mike Smith can have good games. Miko Koskinen can have good games. The issue is that you never know when it's going to happen, and it doesn't happen often enough. The Oilers don't need a great goaltender. They need a goalie that can give them some consistency. That's it. <sighs> Another poster, uh, I'm, I'm sorry if I butcher your name here, um, Mysum Noruzi. I, I apologize if you're watching this and I butchered your name there. I'll throw your tweet up here to give it credit. We don't need big saves. Just make the saves you are supposed to make. Exactly. Like, the Oilers don't even need an all-star goaltender. They just need a goaltender that's decent. Like, the last really good goaltender we had, or half-decent goaltender, was Cam Talbot. And we traded him away for... Anthony Stolarz, who's the backup in Anaheim now. 
so we have nothing to show for that. And that was followed by signing Miko Koskinen for three years. And the Oilers, aside from Mike Smith's amazing run there last season, haven't had solid goaltending since that trade. Ken Holland needs to trade for a goaltender. I was listening to the NHL Network on the way home from work, and I thought they said it really well. The Oilers have the goaltending that can get them to the postseason, and they do. But Mike Smith and Miko Koskinen aren't going to win you any rounds in the playoffs. And the Oilers have to have loftier expectations right now than just making the playoffs. Just making the playoffs isn't good enough anymore. This team, I don't think, is a Stanley Cup favorite or anything like that. But this team should be at the point where it can get to the playoffs and at least win a round, win two rounds. At this point, the Oilers are fighting for their playoff lives. I still think they're going to make the playoffs, but they're not going to do any damage once they get there unless Ken Holland can make a trade for a half-decent goaltender. And I don't think it has to be like a Marc-Andre Fleury. Get a Semyon Varlamov, or I don't know, I'm even for Braden Holpe at this point. Like, just get something for this team. They played really well tonight. They were dangerous. Like, I know this video has basically turned into a Mike Smith rant, but that's just how we're all feeling tonight. Mike Smith was the difference tonight. And if he plays even half decent, I think the Oilers at least get a point out of this hockey game, so... I won't go on any further about that, but like I said, guys, really frustrating. You guys all watched it too. I'm sure most of you feel the same way. Mike Smith's going to have his defenders out there too, and Mike Smith has won some hockey games for the Oilers this year. No doubt about that, but he's lost far more than he's won for them this year, and it doesn't look like it's getting any better. So I don't, I don't know. And I don't know if the answer is calling up Stuart Skinner either. Like, I think Skinner would be better for sure. I just don't know if it, Skinner deserves the pressure of having to try to get this team in the playoffs as being the guy. I'd rather Skinner just stay in Bakersfield, get lots of playing time there, and he can come up next year. But, I mean, I'm not going to be mad if Skinner comes up, but I just feel like it's unfair pressure to put on him. The Oilers should be finding another NHL goaltender to help at least ride them out this season. If he's strong enough, bring him in for a couple years. Get rid of Mike Smith. Miko Koskinen, let him walk or trade him at the trade deadline too. And go with the new goaltender and Stuart Skinner as the tandem next year. Because, I don't know, I've seen enough. Like, Koskinen's played better lately. Koskinen's not in my doghouse right now, but Mike Smith definitely is. And... I want to see something different there. Me personally, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, but I don't know. I've seen enough of Mike Smith for right now. He should be, I don't know. Arizona Coyotes are willing to take on contracts. I don't think it's that far-fetched that a trade to Arizona could happen. So I say Mike, I say move Mike Smith to uh, Arizona, make it happen. I want to get to some of the rumors with you guys too, but uh, I'll give you my play of the game as well. My play of the game, Zach Hyman's goal just before the end of the second period. Beautiful feed from Drysaddle up the ice. Great move by Hyman on the goal. Puts a pass Veseleski. Gave the Oilers life. Made it 4-2 to two at that point. Connor would score again in the third to make it 4-3. Give us a hockey game. And like I said, Tampa Bay gets the empty net goal. Nikita Kucherov, I think, scored it. So Tampa Bay wins the game 5-3, to three, but... Zach Hyman, Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisaitl, they played together quite a bit tonight. They looked super dangerous, fantastic line for the Oilers, and it just wasn't good enough tonight. The Oilers couldn't convert their chances when they needed to. Mike Smith couldn't make a save when they needed it. And the Oilers fall to the defending Stanley Cup champions tonight. So just a few uh, rumors that have been popping up since uh, yesterday. Uh, according to Zach Lang of Oilers Nation, the Oilers are scouting defenseman Jared Tenorti. Tenorti's currently playing with the Hartford Wolfpack, uh, the New York Rangers AHL affiliate. 6'6", 
200 and what is he? 6'6", 229 pound defenseman, tough. I think Marcus Niemelainen kind of fits that bill for the Oilers right now. I don't know if Jared Tenorti is a target they really need to bring in, especially a guy that's playing in the American Hockey League right now. Marcus Niemelainen's done enough for me anyway as a depth defenseman. He's bringing toughness. I wouldn't go after Tenorti personally, but apparently the Oilers are scouting him, so we'll see what happens there. But like I said, I think Marcus Niemelainen fills that role right now for the Oilers. And according to Beer League Heroes, the Seattle Kraken are scouting both the Edmonton Oilers and Bakersfield Condors very closely lately, which opens up a bunch of possibilities for the Oilers. Players like Carson Soucy, goaltender Chris Drieger, depth forward Mason Appleton. There's quite a few guys that I'm definitely interested in on the crack. But that's pretty much everything that's going on rumor-wise with the Oilers that I saw today. But I will, of course, keep you guys updated as I learn more. I think that's all for tonight, guys. Let me know what you thought of the game, what you thought of Mike Smith in the comments section below. If this is your first visit to the channel and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan. Enjoy the rest of your evening, guys, and I will see you over the next coming days with more news reports and Oilers content. Have a great evening, guys. Take care.